Oops. That genocide is not our lane. Oops. Is it our lane when black children can't go to school and feel safe because SROs are terrorizing them with guns in their own school? Is it our lane when police are evicting unhoused neighbors who have nowhere to go? And is it our lane when people deny that a genocide that has been televised, that has been televised across the world for months, Will we accept a reality when this is normal? No. Nope. I refuse to accept a reality when the deaths of children require my ethno state to exist. I will not accept this. We cannot accept this. No. Nope. To Latricia Vita, genocide and inequality is always our lane. Amen. Amen. It is always responsibility to stand up for your fellow human beings. Yep. It is always your responsibility to do what is unpopular. Yeah. It is your responsibility to trust your eyes and your ears when genocide is happening right in front of you. <laughs> this person here that just tried to disrupt us is refusing to listen to their eyes and ears. They would rather live in a world where their state's existence depends on the destruction of entire peoples. <laughs> to Latricia Vita, to Jacob Fry, to every city council member that has denied the existence of this genocide, it is always your lane to oppose oppression and inequality. Right. And it is always your duty to do the bare minimum of passing a fucking ceasefire resolution. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. There is nothing that should be controversial about calling for the end of a genocide. Yep. We are on the right side. We will be victorious and Palestine will be free. Free, free Palestine! Free, free, free Palestine! Free, 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 free,